Hey guys, welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. We have some new leaks about Season 5. Data miners were able to find a legendary broadband for the Cordite, and the interesting part is that the theme of this broadband is going to be radioactive. I hope you guys remember the OG Season 7 radioactive agent. The theme is going to be as similar to this. The closest we can get about the appearance of this broadband is the PDW Toxic Waste, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be something similar, but not entirely. The chopper chain reaction is another example i'm happy that they are finally giving us something from that theme because we never got a season again that is as same as the radioactive agent maybe next season is going to be coming with a similar theme anything can happen now we can confirm three legendary blueprints that will come in next season we know that the Odin mythic is coming next the m13 fearless legendary is coming and we can also confirm the Kodai legendary skin that I just mentioned. Since we did not get a shotgun legendary last season, there is chance that we will get the KRM legendary in season 5. In addition, in season 5, we are going to get a brand new tactical equipment called Eco Grenade. I hope you guys know there is a setting called Perspective Teammate. This works like that, but it is for the enemies. I really don't think it is going to make that much of a difference in game because it only shows the location of the enemy when it explodes and it does not show the real time location even if the enemy move maybe in future we will get a buff that shows us the real time location that way it might be useful but now i don't think it's going to be that useful i hope you guys already know that persistent is getting an adjustment i don't really call it a nerf it is more like an adjustment but it is definitely not going to be abusive as it was before because it can no longer be paired with the heartline perk they have changed the color of the perk from red to blue so there is no way that even all the players use persistent not everyone will be able to use the best score streak in their loadout the reason is that while equipped with persistence the score streaks will be divided into three ranks and you can only equip one score streak of each rank at the same time for example when it comes to the low rank you are going to only equip score streaks such as the uav shock rc hunter killer drone care package and counter uav anything over 700 up to 950 can be equipped under middle rank there you will get the score streaks like the predator missile sentry gun lightning strike and orbital laser anything over 950 are considered to be a high rank score streak there you will get the chopper gunner swarm and all the rest you already know you have to score double the score so that is going to be a huge score and i don't really see a point of using the persistent anymore now i think this is a huge nerf damn when it comes to battle royale, the pump class is going to get a buff and after the buff it will go up to a height that is as almost as twice the height that is right now. So it's a huge buff I believe. And not only that we are going to get a brand new vehicle called Jackal. This is actually a fighter jet that is capable of combat in air. So I'm not sure how this is going to work in the battle royale and I'm so curious to know. And it started tomorrow you are going to get a brand new event and it is actually not just one event there are a couple of events that will give you multiple rewards. So if you participate in all of them without missing anything you are going to get 45 crates of the foresight crate with spectra the prepper skin some say this event is not totally free this might cost some cut points but it will be a huge discount other than that you are going to get three epic characters which are totally free you are going to get the og adler the civilian skin that was back in the day a black ops called body board if i'm not mistaken also you are going to get the nikolai belinsky og skin which was also a grindable skin back in the day and you are going to get a brand new skin for a brand new character called Sid. This skin is already in the Chinese version as a free crate and I'm glad that it is coming to the global version as a free skin too. That is all for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you find this video helpful, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Watch my other videos and I will see you guys in the next one.